Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment to my page. Here we go! Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time on today. Today I will be reading to you guys another story out of the Disney Fairy Story Collection. Alright guys, let's get into this. So, the next one will be The Great Fairy Race. Okay. The Great Fairy Race. Let's go. On your marks, Queen Clarion called. Get set. She raised her hands in the air. Go! Queen Clarion shouted. A light flashed across the sky. The Great Fairy Race was on. The rules of the Great Fairy Race were simple. The first one across the finish line was the winner, but the fairies could not use their own feet or wings. No running, no flying. Beck rode a squirrel. Right behind her was fawn on a frog. Rainy flew through the air on Brother Dove's back. Fire a sword in a balloon. Silver mist surfed on a wave. Tinkerbell rode a machine she had made out of pots and pans. Go ahead, Tink. That's some creativity right there, girl. And Lily sat high atop a giant snail. Hurry, Lily, Bess called, or you will come in last. Lily laughed. I don't care, she said. I like the view up here. I'm just saying, though, Lily, you are up on a snail. Uh, uh, literally a snail. They're going to go so slow. Coming through, Silver Miss yelled. She sailed past Beck. Now she was first. But then Fawn's frog made a mighty jump. He hopped right over Silver Mist. This fairy race is all mine, Fawn crowd. Not for long, Rainy said. She passed Fawn from above. Lily was far behind the others, but she didn't mind. She even stopped to water a flower next to the path. I'll get there soon enough, she said. <laughs> oh, yeah, you really going slow. The fairies crossed the stream. They tore through the meadows. They rounded the home tree. They zoomed past the gardens. They going fast, ain't they? But fairy after fairy ran into trouble. Beck squirrel saw another squirrel. He ran off to play. <laughs> Turn around! Beck cried in squirrel. Beck cried in squirrel. We're going the wrong way. The squirrel scampered up a tree. Beck was stuck going with him. Mm-hmm. Fawn laughed at Beck, but then her frog spotted a fat fly. Over the pond. Splash. Before she knew it, Fawn and the frog were in the pond. The frog was happy. Fawn was not. Uh-oh, seemed like the snail going to end up winning, y'all. <laughs> See you at the finish line, Tink called to Fawn. A minute later, the wheels of Tink's machine got stuck in the mud. I'll never win now, Tink moaned. Well, I mean... That's the price of making your own vehicle. <laughs> Fire's balloon sprang a leak. It took Fire 10 minutes to fix the hole. And look, she's sewing it all back together. Poor Bess got lost. She knew she was somewhere between the mossy rocks and the crooked tree. But where? She took a map out of her pocket. Which way? She asked herself. Rainy saw a pretty waterfall. She stopped to look at it and fell behind. Silver Mist was not watching where she was headed. She sailed into a spider web and got stuck. Mm. Them spider webs are sticky. Before long, Beck and Fawn had their animals under control. Tink dug out of her machine. Bess found her way. Rainy and Silver Mist were on track again. I see the end, Fire yelled. <laughs> Look, all them coming, all them coming. 
They raced for the finish line. They were neck and neck and wing to wing. Who was going to be first? Who could win the great fairy race? The fairies put on a last burst of speed. They were almost there. Now, what if the snail already there, y'all? Let's go. <laughs> All of a sudden, Tink's front wheel ran over the squirrel's tail. Tink and Beck and the squirrel went down. Nuts and bolts, Tink groaned. Oh, man, Tink got of it. Fawn and her frog were right behind them. They could not stop. Fawn's frog jumped and tripped and it bumped into Rainy and Brother Dove. Dove. Brother Dove crashed into a virus balloon. The balloon lost air and headed for the ground. Oh, y'all having all types of tra travesties. <laughs> Bess and Silver Mist went down too. Not one of the fairies made it across the finish line. I'm hearing about everybody else but the snail. <laughs> Let's see. But wait. Slowly, slowly, Lily and her snail inch forward. They passed Bess. Are you taking a rest, Bess? Lily asked. <laughs> Lily and her snail passed Fyra. They passed Rainy and Tink and Beck and Fawn and Silver Mist. So who won the race? Lily asked. <laughs> Slow and steady went away, y'all. <laughs> then Lily and her giant snail crossed the finish line. Look at that. They, I knew they was going to cross the finish line eventually. Everybody was having too many problems. Lily is the winner, Queen Clarion said. Cry, I am? Lily asked. Lily looked with surprise at the other fairies. I thought the race was already over, she said. You know it wasn't over. <laughs> the fairies cheered for Lily. Hooray for Lily and her snail, everyone called. Queen Clarion put a necklace of flowers around Lily's neck. She put one around the snail's neck too. Oh, they won. Who knew? A snail would be the fastest creature in Pixie Hollow. Queen Clarion said. <laughs> I don't think he was the fastest, but because he was so slow, he wasn't in all that mess they was in. That's what that was. But all right. All right, guys. That is the Great Fairy Race. All right. Thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Storytime. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this page if you haven't done so already. All right, guys. Bye.